Fresh off a West Coast rally, President Donald Trump returns to the campaign trail. And tonight he is heading to Pennsylvania where his rival Democrat Joe Biden stays home to prepare for Thursday night's presidential debate. Tonight, the Trump campaign is speaking out against a rule change for that debate. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen? Tracy, with just 14 days to go now, President Trump has a jam-packed schedule going up until Election Day. Now, whether that translates to another victory come next month, next month in November, uh, tonight national polls have the president trailing Joe Biden. But for Republicans, there are signs for hope. Despite the pandemic, another campaign stop for a constantly on-the-go President Donald Trump. In Arizona yesterday, he was optimistic. Optimism will boom. The pandemic, it's rounding the turn. The vaccines are coming. And I look fine, don't I? You know. He talked about what so many long for. And we'll get back to a normal life. That's what we want. Just a normal, just seven months ago, we want to get back. It will be better than that very soon. Joe Biden off the trail prepping for the debate has an ad emphasizing his Catholic faith. I know for me, my Catholic faith has helped me through the darkness. Throughout my life in public service, I've been guided by the tenets of Catholic social doctrine. What you do to the least among us, you do unto me. The debate just two days away, a rule change will silence the microphone of the candidate who is not supposed to be speaking during certain times of the debate. The Trump campaign responding, President Trump is committed to debating Joe Biden regardless of last-minute rule changes from the biased commission in their latest attempt to provide advantage to their favored candidate. And Joe Biden tweeted today this dig at President Trump. The simple sad truth is that this president is not in office to serve the American people. He's in it to serve himself. It's the first day. Meanwhile, Battleground Wisconsin, Tuesday marked the first day of early in-person voting. Trump won there by fewer than 23,000 votes four years ago. And with the election moving in very fast now, a bright spot for Republicans. They have made progress in signing up voters in key states like Florida, Arizona, and Pennsylvania, where the president is heading tonight. Tracy? Okay, thank you, Owen. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reporting for us tonight.